What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Spiritual Boss Lady, coming back at you with another reading for Aries for the month of September. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're already part of the Boss Lady family, I love you, I love you, I love you. This reading is for Aries for the month of September. You guys, this is a general reading, a general reading, which means it will not resonate with everyone. If it does not resonate with you, it's probably not for you, okay? Okay, so let's jump right on in for Aries for the month of September. If you could please do me a favor and thank you, mash that like button, okay? First card up you got is the Eight of Swords. Okay, Aries. Yes, please, again, like that, uh, mash that like button, guys. It will do me a big favor, guys, and it helps my channel. You have the hangman. I am just getting back out there, so I need all the assistance and help that I can get. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. And you have the sun card. My goodness. Okay, wait a minute now. All right, Aries. Y'all might be feeling very uh, rambunctious and very energetic right now. Okay, happy. Wait a minute. All right. Thank you. You have the Wheel of Fortune. For Aries, for the month of September. Please show me what I need to see. Please show me what I need to see. Thank you. Two of Swords. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Two of Swords. Okay. For my Aries for the month of September. Thank you. And you have the Magician and the Four of Cups. Okay. For my Aries for the month of September. Thank you. You have the three of cups. Thank you for my Aries. You have the Six of Pentacles. Thank you. All right, got two, and you got the Queen of Cups and the Five of Cups. Okay, my Aries. Okay, thank you. Okay. And the King of Rods. Okay, fire energy. 
All right, my Aries, let's jump right on in. Your first card up is the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords speaks to feeling trapped, feeling powerless, feeling stuck in a situation. Okay, my Aries. And the next card up is the Hangman. By the way, the Eight of Swords speaks to stuck, stagnated uh, energy, just like the Hangman. Um, but the Eight of Swords, if you can see, her hands are free. She could free herself if she chose to, but she doesn't choose to. Also, she can undo this blindfold if she chose to. Free her hands and undo the blindfold. So she's in a self-imposed prison, okay? Because she doesn't have to be, all right? And the next card up is the Hangman. And the Hangman, just like the Eight of Swords, speak to stuck, stagnated energy on pause, okay? And your next card up is a, uh, the Sun card. And the Sun card speaks to abundance, happiness, joy, exuberance, okay? And the next card you have after that, my Aries, is the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune speaks to good luck and fortune coming your way. Or it could be the reversal of good luck and fortune. But I do believe, my beautiful Aries, this is a good, the, the good luck and fortune coming your way, okay? And your next card up is the Two of Swords. And just like the Eight of Swords, this young lady does not want to see something, okay? She has a choice to make, but she doesn't know everything that she needs to know in order to make this decision, okay? Air energy. The Two of Swords is air energy, okay? And the next card up you have is the Magician. And the Magician talks about having everything that you need in order to transform your situation, okay? The magician is a manifestation card, okay? The magician talks about having all of the tools and all of the things that you need in order to get where you wanna be, but are you using them? And I ask, are you using them? Because the next card that you have up is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups talks about taking things for granted, okay, Aries? The, two, the Four of Cups take, talks about wanting what you want, no matter what the cost, okay? You see, she is thinking about a cup that's there, but she already has three cups that she's not even paying attention to. And she's focusing on a cup that she doesn't have that's coming from the ether, okay? From it coming from the outside, okay? So that talks about taking things for granted, okay? And your next card up is the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups speaks of collaborations, okay? It can speak to um, people wanting to work with you, okay? People, people taking you for granted in situations or you taking people for granted, okay? The next card up is the Six of Pentacles. Okay, and the Six of Pentacles speaks to um, gifts or rewards. Okay, the Six of Pentacles speaks to um, the Six of Pentacles speaks to gifts, rewards. Okay, generosity. Okay, maybe being a little bit too generous. Okay, it also can speak to giving to two people. Okay, the next card up you have is the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is a very nurturing, loving, kind queen, okay? She's the mother figure, okay? The Queen of Cups is a very nurturing, loving, kind, usually sometimes mature um, woman in your life. She doesn't have to be because there is no gender in tarot. But the Queen of Cups speaks to a very nurturing woman, okay? Or it could speak to a, a, a man had, that has feminine energy, okay, you guys? And the next card up is, a, um, is the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups speaks to loss, okay? The Five of Cups can speak to separation, um, emotional loss. It can also speak to death, you guys, okay? Um, and if, if in fact, you know, my 
people i don't feel death here guys but if in fact that is possible or happening for some people i feel really bad for you and i feel um i want to say uh god bless you and i hope you know you guys feel a little bit better all right um the next card you have up is the king of rods the 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 Five of Cups also can speak to emotional loss. I'm not sure if I said that. The Five of Rods um, is an authority figure, okay? Um, he, he's, he's a financial person. Um, it could be a father figure, um, but it's somebody uh, dealing with money or it could be somebody that has uh, control or, or, or dealing with money, okay? So when I look at all of these cards together, my beautiful Aries, okay? I feel like there's a choice that you that needs to be made, possibly in um, a relationship, possibly with a parent. And there's some things that you're stuck and stagnated on. You're not in a bad place, but you're not where you could be. Um, you're taking some things for granted, and I'm going to tell... Well, I won't say you. It's either you or your spouse, because we're either picking up the energy of you or your spouse. So someone is definitely taking some things for granted. So if you're doing any uh, frivolous spending, I would say cut back. Um, if you're doing any taking for granted, taking anybody for granted, that's never a good thing, okay? Um, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, you definitely will be getting that. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of happiness, a lot of luck, okay? A lot of transformation. Ah, this is, you know, outside of one or two cards, this is a good reading. But there's a choice that needs to be made, my Aries. Possibly a choice with money, okay? Possibly a choice with, um, family, you need to get out of this stuck, stagnated energy, though, because someone is feeling stuck and stagnated, but it seems as if you're coming out of it because we went from the Eight of Swords, the Hangman, to the Sun. So you were feeling stuck, feeling trapped, feeling like you couldn't do things that you wanted to do, but now the, now you can. Possibly some money has come in, um, okay? And you're doing some different things or whatever. Possibly going out, sharing some of your money, giving gifts. Okay. All right. And I just pulled some cards for you from the um, Archangel deck, the Oracle cards. Your first card up was, I don't want to butcher this name, so I'll show it like this. And it says, be conscientious. I didn't say that right. Conscientious. I hope I said that better. Cooperate with others for your highest good. And I agree. Cooperate with others. Don't take people for granted. Okay. And you got this one. Let nature soothe you and serve the nature kingdom. I agree with that as well. If you want to meditate, calm yourself, that's always a good thing. Um, going inward and finding out who you are and uh, working on yourself is always the best investment. Okay. And then you had the Archangel Charity. Give with an open heart and be generous. I do uh, agree that you should be generous. However, because of the way that these cards have come out, I would say to you to be mindful of who you're being generous with and to be mindful of what, um, that you don't give too much that you don't have for yourself. Okay, Aries? Because um, you guys have big hearts and that's wonderful to have a big heart, but that's an easy way to be taken advantage of. Okay? So I love you guys. I'm sending love and light out there. You guys have a blessed and beautiful day.